Okay, so this is a uh, part four, and uh, this is uh, a building on what we did in part three. We have speed. We have uh, direction control using pin four and five. Uh, now we've added the pulse width modulation on the enable pin. So you can see here it's slowing down. Now we're going to have it go the opposite direction and speed up. Uh, and that is coming off of the enable pin. So I'm only using one, uh, one pulse width modulation pin again to do this, but I'm using three pins all together. So, uh, interesting way to, to, to achieve uh, speed and direction control and really still use a minimum amount of uh, pulse width modulation pins. If, if we had uh, two, more, two motors, we would still only need two pulse width modulation pins. So that's part four. Okay, this is part four A, and um, here we've changed things a little bit. The enable pin is now connected to pin four on the Arduino. Um, used to be on pin three, but now we've we've moved it over to pin four. There's no pulse width modulation on pin four. Uh, N1 and N2 are both connected to pin 3 and 5, and both of those pins are, are using pulse width modulation. So, this is very similar to um, one of the previous demos, only we've added uh, the, pulse, the uh, enable pin. So, what I've got here is um, speed and direction control by using two pulse width modulation pins to achieve the speed and the direction control. Um, again, one, one pin is going to be set high, one pin is going to be set low. The, the, the high pin will be the one that has the pulse width modulation on it in this instance. Um, And that is how you achieve the the direction control, and of course the pulse width modulation is how you achieve the speed control. So that's part four a uh, speed and direction control using two pulse width modulation pins and an enable pin. Uh, again, with this particular demo, I'm using the enable pin to turn the motors on and off completely when it's completely stopped.